by Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in November of last year, Microsoft confirmed that Windows 11 24H2 was breaking the date and time in settings for some users. And as I mentioned in that video, Microsoft had mentioned that after installing Windows 11 24H2, which rolled out, started rolling out at the beginning of October last year, users without administrative privileges might not be able to change the time zone in the date and time view of Windows settings. Now, I'll leave that video linked down below in the end screen if you'd like more info because it also provided a workaround where you could head over to the legacy control panel and change your date and time settings there which still worked if you were affected. That's all mentioned in that previous video. But just to let you know now that Microsoft has now confirmed over on its official health dashboard page that this bug now and this issue has been fixed. And Microsoft has said officially now the issue is addressed starting with Windows updates released January the 28th, 2025. So that would be this update. KB5050094, which was our optional bug fix C release update that rolled out on the 28th, 29th of January, depending on your region. And I posted a video on that update. That's also linked down below and in the end screen. Now, just take note, though, that Microsoft says that this resolution is gradually rolling out. Okay, so it's on a controlled rollout. So it might be in this update or it might not. So they say that it's gradually rolling out and will be fully available in the coming months as part of a monthly Windows update. So they recommend you install the latest update for your device as it contains important improvements and so on. Now, as I've mentioned previously as well on the channel, although this update is starting to fix the date and time issue, this update is also causing a mouse spinning cursor bug. That video will also be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. So I would suggest that if you are experiencing the date and time issues, then still don't install this update if you haven't done so already because it is it has a, a, another bug. And then just go to that workaround where you can change your date and time if you don't have admin privileges in the control panel check that out in that previous video as mentioned so 24h2 still as mentioned has a lot of known issues but at least this is starting to address another known issue so that at least is moving in the right direction with 24h2 so just keeping you guys posted because i had posted that video previously and wanted to follow up because that now according to microsoft has been or is starting to be fixed with that previous optional bug fix C release update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.